Anyway, no scoreboard. We'll so, keep telling you the score as we go. There's a chopper hit out in the short. Clink comes up and throws across, and we're fixing to leave again because Jude made pretty quick work of that inning. He did. He struck out his opposing pitcher, Randall, yeah. and then he got Moberly, yeah. the third baseman, to line out to second, and then he got the D.H. Romero to ground out the short. Quick yeah. work. Yeah, apologize for that, but uh, great job there by Jude Westmoreland coming in and uh, and getting them three up, three down. So it's a nice pitcher's duel right here. It's pretty good. Chargers need to get some uh, some hits going into this inning and get us started. But we'll take a timeout, and we'll hear another word from one of our sponsors. Sorry to cut that short. They boy, he warmed up in a hurry, didn't he? Yeah. Not? Good grief! It's cold out here. It is. It is. Mr. Randall said, "I'm ready to go. I don't need eight pitches. Do about five. All right. So we're in the top of the third, scoreless pitchers duel so far. Yeah. Darren Randall's your pitcher for Lake Comer. Hubbard is a batter. He's a left fielder. He swings and misses. Yeah, we're in the uh, top half of the third at this point, and uh, not a lot of base runners. No. Had a couple in the first off a couple walks. There's an inside strike. So Randall gets ahead, 0-2. There's your left fielder. There's about, about 290, 11 more BIs on the year. Randall set, delivers. Ooh, he, he ripped hits that ball he ripped that the one. left. The left fielder's drifting back. Yep. Ends up being a lazy fly ball. Yeah, the wind uh, may have had an effect on that. Kind of hung it up a little bit. He he got a pretty good bit of the ball, honestly. Yeah, uh, when you get it up in this wind, you better be taking it out to right field. Absolutely. You're just hitting it into it. And the sun is finally set, and the temperature's dropped 20 degrees. I feel like I'm at the south side of Chicago. Yeah, it's chilly. Yeah. Randall, one out here in the top of third, 0-0 zero, zero score. Breaking ball across the plate, strike one. Back around at the top of the order, Clink's your batter. Clink batting. 345 on the year, swings and misses. A little bit behind. Oh. We got a hustling match for the balls behind us. We got to have fun. Game within the game. <laughs> that gets us a victory, I hear you. <laughs> Randall's set. Clink tries to fight it off, fouls it off to the right, get a piece of batting right there. <laughs> Look at him over here. Yep. They're, they're. Nobody's chasing that one. <laughs> Oh yeah! All right, Randall's working fast. <laughs> we got a comrade on both Sets, sides. Delivers. That's low. On both Good sides, take. on their knees, right here at the edge of the dugout. <laughs> Somebody gonna run it's into each other and get a like concussion. A PE. Right? Yeah, <laughs> a little races in PE. Yeah. All right, Randall sets. He delivers. That ball bounces out front of the plate. Two-two count. One out here in the top of the third. Zero-zero. Yeah. Clink. Got to look for something here. He can drive. Yep. Randall sets and delivers. That's all speed. He pops oh, it up. Pop that one up. Stuff. Yep. Shortstop gets under it, makes yeah. the play. I guess they practice in this wind a pretty good bit, so maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe they know how to handle it. <laughs> yep. 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 <laughs> it's a good job there by the shortstop. It's probably always blowing out to right, too. Yeah. Um, I guess the river. The river. We're right here at the, the river. west. Yeah. Yeah. Shortstop is Callahan. All right, he's already ready. Seth delivers. Breaking ball must have been inside. Looked like a good pitch. Yeah, he works fast. There's no doubt about it. I'm uh, okay with him working fast I, tonight. I'm in. Me and you both. All right. As we say that, he steps off. There's that Foster jinx on him. <laughs> <laughs> he sits and delivers. It's real. Bounds, grounds at the second. Second baseman stays down, fields and throws. Right. That'll be the third out of the inning. Gracious. One, two, three, man. One, two, three. Goodness. 
Well, I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and take a timeout real quick so we can get one sponsorship in before they start. How about that? That's That's right. Right outside of this one church town, there's a gold dirt road to a whole lot of nothing. Got a deed to the land, but it ain't. My ground, this is God's country. I saw the light in a sunrise, sitting back in a 40 on the muddy riverside, getting baptized in holy water and shine with the dogs running. So we found the sound of a pin found Dixie whistle in the wind that'll get you heaven bound. The devil went down to Georgia, but he didn't stick around. This is God's country. At Farm Bureau Insurance, local agents like me are on a mission. It's our duty to offer you the right insurance so you can protect what's important to you. I enjoy using my time and insurance expertise to help folks in the Grenada community. It's just what I do. I'm George Chandler. Give me a call at 662-414-0541 for a quick home and auto or life insurance quote. And to learn more about Farm Bureau Insurance so you can save money and time. Go Chargers. All right, Chip, we're back. Kind of waiting on a catcher to come out. It's one of that uh, Preston was the last of, last batter, so we had to wait him wait on him to get dressed and suited up. So he's out there. We've got the throw down ready to go. So through two, Jews walked one, struck out a couple. We've got the number eight hitter, number sixteen, like Braden Collins. Yeah, he's the catcher. No, I'm sorry, he's the first baseman. Jude's working fast. His counterpart. Mr. Randall's working fast. And we appreciate it. We do appreciate it. Jude sets, delivers. Strike one. Good pitch, yeah. Both of them are getting ahead of in the count. Which obviously is an advantage pitcher. Sets and delivers. That's inside and low. Where is this one. young man play? Did you say first Mr. base? Collins is the first base. Yeah, big boy. Sets the livers. That ball's uh, up and you know. inside. That's going to be nubbed down the first baseline and be foul. Yeah. They let that one roll foul, picked up foul, and got on his hands. Yeah, it was a good pitch. And uh, he's gone in there twice now. And uh, so he's got him. I guess the scoreboard's going to keep popping up every single inning. I apologize for that. We'll keep trying to take it back down because um, it is definitely not correct. We are at the bottom of the third, 0 yeah. 0. So far, pitcher's duel. Westmoreland sets, delivers. There's that breaking ball. That's low. Yeah, it's a good pitch. Uh, definitely a good pitch to throw in that situation. And uh, But it's a good take on his part, not going yep. after that. Jude still ahead, 2-2 two, two count. No outs, bottom of the third, and he got him. Yeah, he that, got him. He knew it. I didn't, I didn't know. I was waiting on the umpire to make the call. I felt like it was right at the knees. Yeah, I felt like it was a strike, but we were waiting on him. So it's good, good pitch there by Jude. Good start to this inning, getting that first uh, first strikeout. So one away it, now. I knew it immediately. You felt pretty good felt about the umpire's it. call. You felt like he's going to make that call no matter what. I okay. knew it. All right, number You're nine, right. your left fielder Stevens. He's going to try to bunt. It's a bunt. Boy, it was a got good too one too. Much of it. Got him. No, they called him out. safe. Yeah. yeah, he beat it out. He did. He did. That was a good bunt right there. That was, he, you know. Real smart there, knowing Jude's going to fall off, you know, to, to our left right there. He bunted it down the first base line, no coverage, and it was a surprise bunt at that. Uh, so, good job there by uh, by the hitter. Yep, Stevens. Stevens. The left fielder, yeah. Uh, they got a runner on now. All right, so that's the first hit of the game. It was life-threatening. <laughs> Look out. I'm a half, I'm a half inning away from a, from a heated – Heated jacket. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Half inning away from my heated jacket. So, Stevens on the year. Let's see if I can do this quick enough. Uh, yeah, Mr. Stevens. He's got three stolen bases on six attempts. They're back around the top of the order. That ball's fouled yeah. off to the right. Be out of play. Yeah. Wixon struck out. Lead the game off. Jude's ahead. 0-1. One out. 
bottom of the third, scoreless tie. Pretty good lead. Uh, maybe not. We're got him, though. He's, he's got, got him. Off. Got to get that ball down there. Got him. Got him. Yes, sir. Good play. Good play. Yeah, Jude, uh, you know, being left-handed, he's got a pretty good move. I'll rate that one a uh, uh, 10. <laughs> you get him picked off. It's, <laughs> it's got to be a 10. It's got to be a 10. <laughs> uh, you know, I actually probably wouldn't want to use best moves. You want to know the honest truth, yeah. but uh didn't matter. I just wrote in the scores book 10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was. It was a straight 10. Woo, that was a good pitch. He did not call out a strike, yep. but uh, it did not miss by much. 1-1 yep. one, one count. So now we've got two outs here in the bottom of the third. Westmoreland set. Chase uh -oh. That's coming at us. Uh-oh. Look out, ladies and gentlemen. No. 15 feet behind us. Yep. If it, I had not been sitting down, I'd have gone and barehanded it. You'd have had that one? Oh, yeah, there's no doubt. I have some doubts. Jew gets ahead, one, two, two outs after he picks off the Stevens at first. He must. He may have been going first move because if as he soon was, as you yeah, his foot it, up, he was gone. No doubt. I think that was the that was the plan. Go first move, no matter what happens. Sets and delivers. That ball's up. And obviously the kid had speed because it was a close yeah. play down at second. That is right. Wixon's 0 for one. Struck out the top of the first. Jude sets and delivers. That ball's up again. Counts full. First full count he's had? Oh, I think he may have had one, one more. Walked a guy. Yeah. Maybe Callahan, it looks like the fourth hitter got one, too. There we go. Inside. I believe that got a piece of him, actually. Pitch. Yeah. So, that's going to be a a walk there for number eight. Number two. It's going to bring up Mitchell. Is he your leadoff guy? No, no he's number second. two hitter. Yeah. Yep. He's a right fielder. He, he walked in the first, stole second. Okay. We got two got out. That pickoff's big now. Yeah. We have two, oh, two no doubt. Guys. Yeah, because you got to – and you also brought in a courtesy runner for the catcher right there. Not sure his number yet. Uh, we'll get it to you as soon as we see it. I am not sure what's taking ten. so long. It's number 10. Their numbers are huge. I can see them. Dylan Gunnels. Umpire's taking forever to write down the courtesy runner. <laughs> Let's go, he's man. It's cold. cold. He's not right. He's not. He couldn't. He can't. He can't. Hand was shaking. You not see me over here trying to do this? I do. Hand was shaking. What's well, more than he went on, he's gone on the He first went on move. first move, yeah. That was a strike. Should uh, it should be, but it's not going to be because he didn't catch it. So, he's not going to call that on That's play. a dumb rule. I, I don't disagree. <laughs> That's right. I don't disagree, but I'm telling you, almost almost always, you miss it. It ain't a strike, and I don't understand that. It ain't about the catch. It's about where it crosses, isn't it? And the count says one and two. Yeah, That's that ain't right. Off. It's a 1-0 -oh count. Yeah, that ain't right. So, the go-ahead run in the first run of the game, actually here in the bottom of the third, is now at second, advanced on that stolen base. Westmoreland. Looks at second. Clink's still not moving. That ball's up. He's missing up. Mitchell on the year's got two RBIs. Well, this is just saying six games played. Why do I print these things? Out? Yeah, Max Preps I, I probably relies on their upload of data of some That's sort, right, you yeah. know, so it depends on when they do it, I guess. Jude sets. Looks again. Delivers. That ball's That's right. That's a good down pitch the there. He didn't catch that one. It was a strike. That's a foul, foul tip. <laughs> it ain't got to be a strike. He foul tipped it. So. They wanted to know if it hit the catcher. Yeah. yeah. I don't think close. it did. It I, the coach yeah. talk about it. I don't believe that did. It sounded different, but it was a foul ball into the glove, bounced out of the glove. glove. The ball hit the mitt is what the sound was. Yeah. Yeah, I would ask the question, too, though. If I were him, I'd definitely ask it. Downs wearing his stormtrooper. Yeah, you, you like that, don't you? I do. He looks, he looks like. I feel like I'm seven years old watching Star Wars. Yeah. Westmoreland sets. Clink moves in behind the runner at second. Delivers. That ball's fouled off towards the tennis courts. So Jude's ahead, one, two. We got two outs. Here in the bottom of the third, score still zero to zero. Yeah, 
Yeah, been a good game so far. Both pitchers have really gone toe to toe. That's right. So been a good been a good game. Not a lot of traffic. Nope. You gets the sign. Sets. Delivers. Got good him. pitch. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah. That one must have been outside. Not sure where it was. Uh I that guess even the uh, count up two two. Even if it wasn't a strike, it was awful close to take with two, I'll tell you that. But it is what it is. Glances at second, comes back, delivers. That's fouled off towards the tennis Great job again. there hitter's by the there. hitter. Yeah, hitter's hanging in, doing a good job. Just fouling pitches off. Well, I'm going to say it anyway. Mitchell's batting 267 on the year through six game. Yeah. Well, that's probably accurate through six. <laughs> 12 and one. Yeah, it is through those six <laughs> games. We don't know what they are. Hughes got the sign. Looks at second. Here's the pitch, and that's up. Yep, it was. It was up just a hair. Looks just too much. That's going to have runners on first and second now for uh, the Gators. Yep. That's a big spot right here. I'm going to say it again. I'm glad we picked the kid off first. I, I mean. places will be loaded right here. You're exactly right. It, it's, it was crucial yeah. at this point, especially knowing what we know now. So, that Agner. Music is loud. It is. I like loud music. I do too. But he's the second baseman at 200 with three RBIs through six games. Got to get the guy at the plate, Jude. At her calls time. Yep. I'm trying to throw Jude off a little bit with yep. that timeout. Probably good good move on his part. So we're still in the bottom of the third. <laughs> Jude's run into a little hiccup this inning. Hit a batter, walked a batter, walked another batter. That ball's out front. Good yeah. block, but he doesn't have a chance. Yeah, good block. Doesn't go to the screen. Just kind of bounces off to the right there for Preston, but he did all he could there to keep it in front of him. So good job there by Preston Downs. I know he's not happy about it. You see him shaking his head, but I'm going to be honest with you, that was a tough one to block. He oh, kept yeah. it He kept it in front of him. Did all he could do. Didn't get to the backstop. So Jude's got to refocus right here and, and, yep. and get, get tuned into this batter. And sets, delivers. That's a strike. That, it's fouled down that the could be a line. No, it's no. out of play. Giving chase, though. That wind blowing, blew it right out. But there's a lot of foul territory here. So yeah. there's always a chance. Oakland, Alameda, Coliseum. Yeah, yeah. So the count's even at one and one. Two outs, bottom of the third. Runners on second, third. Let off with them. Is that this anyway? Single? Yeah. Batter was then picked off. Sets. Good pitch. Yes, yes, sir. sir. Nice job. He's had he's had more control over the breaking stuff than he has his fastball. He really has. Good, very good point. This is this is where Preston becomes big because he, he may go back to the curveball here. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised if he did. But one, you're two, right. Yep, big one, two Preston. count. Sets delivers. There it is. That's popped up. Now that should be in play. It could be. Preston's getting under. Gonna make the he got play. it. Yeah, good like job there. Put two hands on that one. He yeah, yeah, yeah he did. That was a good job there by Braden and uh, getting over there in foul territory, getting up under it, making the play. So, great job there by the Chargers getting out of that with no runs. That was kind of a sticky situation. First time Jude's really been challenged at all with runners on base, but he got out of it nicely. Yeah. So, that being said, we'll take a break as we get ready to go into the bottom half, uh, top half, excuse me, of the fourth inning, and we will hear another word from one of our sponsors. Parents and students are just shocked when they find out with a 20 on your ACT, you could go to Home CC for free. Do you have a 20 on your ACT? Why, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a sec. You're right. I am shocked. You're saying my tuition could be free? <laughs> yes. And your household income does not matter. Why in the world would Holmes Community College offer free tuition with a 20 on the ACT? See, we don't want you drowning in college debt when you graduate. In fact, all of us here at Holmes are so committed to our students' success, we've kept our tuition, well, lower than every other state community college. And even though parents and students are shocked by it and have a hard time believing it, just remember, your tuition could be free with a 20 on your ACT at Holmes CC. Sounds to me like there's no place like Holmes. That's Holmes Community College.
All right, Chip, we're back. We're going live here at Lake Cormorant where the scoreboard still does not work. Right. Yep, Chargers looking for their first hit here in the top of the fourth. Randall's made quick work of them. He's walked two. That's inside. Dylan Black's the batter. Been hitting the ball well this year. Now our stats are right, and I lost them. There they are. That's outside and low. <laughs> our friend Kevin Jackson texted me. He said, hey, top half of the fourth, what a great sponsor you have. That's Landmark Realty, by the way. We don't typically do our half-inning sponsor when we're on away. Uh, well, no, we don't typically do it on away games. But for Kevin Jackson, you're going to. We thank Landmark Realty for sponsoring the top half of the fourth inning out here at Lake Cormoran as we freeze to death. That's right. 2-0 count, 2-1 count. I don't know what's right on the school board. It's 3-1 now. I do know that. Chargers need base runners. They've been through quite a few innings uh, lately. What is that? that music playing now? Oh, yeah. Over on the other field. Uh-oh. Catch or take one. Yeah. Count's going to go full. I thought that was on the headset. Oh, when I heard it, it's definitely the softball. You were clicking on something. Count's well, full. It wouldn't be beyond me to mess it up, but catcher uh, – Took, took a tough, one. took yeah. a tough one there, and uh, they're gonna give him just a little bit of time to gather himself. As well, they should. They should. Catcher's Wixon, he's a leadoff guy. You don't see that every day of the week. Yeah, you know, I thought that same thing early, but you know, if you think about it, if he is your all-time, I've got, to, I, it just kind of struck me as odd. But if he is like your best hitter, you're gonna get a courtesy runner for him anyway. That's right. Let him 100%, hit. percent. That's right. Let him hit, and then put a guy in for him. Right. So, not a not a bad strategy. So counts full here in the top of the fourth. We're still scoreless. Lake Comet threatened in the bottom of the third with runners on second, third. Westmoreland worked his way out. Randall sets, delivers. That's up. Fouled off there. Fouled off. By Dylan Black. He's hanging in there. Yeah, he is. Staying alive. Dylan walked in the first. Like you're all over it tonight, man. <laughs> Hammer it down. Yes, I am. Randall set, delivered, breaking ball, fouled off. Staying alive. Staying alive. I'm just going to keep on with it. Here we go. I'll throw, I'll throw you a curveball in a second. Uh-oh. He's hanging tough. Hanging. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on now. <laughs> New kids on the block. Yeah. There you go. Randall sets, delivered, breaking balls, flying out the center. Should he be an easy play. That center right fielder's center. coming yep. in. Makes the play. Center, hill, center fielder is Reed. He's uh, being DH for. It's good at bat. You don't want to get the ball up in the air. Yep. The wind is just going to die because it's not like it's blowing out. No, it's not. Uh, it's actually blowing left to right, left to right on our lead, you know, on our side. Palmer's up. That's low. Palmer walked in the first. It's our two lone base runners of the night. Dylan Black and Eli. Randall sets, delivers. That's a strike. It's been a fun game to watch so far with these two pitchers because they've definitely gone toe to toe, battled well. And uh, just, I like it when they stay in the zone, man. Oh, yeah. That's up. He works fast, he throws strikes. Yep. It's hard not to like that. Sets and delivers. There's that breaking ball. Strike two. That's a good breaking pitch. You know, he can throw that up for a strike or down in the dirt, whatever. He's done it. He's he's thrown it all ways tonight. So, top of the four, 2-2 two, two count, one out. Now there it is in the dirt. Yeah. Told you. He can Chased throw it for it. a strike up or whatever. Yeah, good pitch right there. Eli was looking fastball. And yeah. Swung right over the curveball. Yeah, it's it's hard to get locked in on one pitch as good as he is with this breaking pitch because he'll throw it in any count. It's going to bring up Edwards. Lined out to second, his first at bat. So we're at two outs, top of the fourth. Scoreless tie. Ooh, that was a little low there. Yeah. Hadn't been calling that one. No. Not against it, just hadn't been calling it. Yeah. But it's, it's borderline. It's right yeah. at the knees. Randall sets, delivers, same pitch. Ty said, I'm, I'm going after this one. Now he's got Ty in a bind. 
Just, you just watched Eli see those two breaking balls. Randall sets and delivers. Ty yeah, flies he didn't it out miss to it. center. No. Yeah, it's going to be right back to that center under. fielder. Yep. He gets under it and makes the play. Yeah, again, quick one, two, three inning there for the Chargers. Just going back and forth. They're just uh, hammering it down on these two pitchers. Good game to watch. So, with that being said, the Chargers go down. No hits, no runs, no errors, I suppose. So, we will take a timeout and hear another word from one of our sponsors. Grenada, you might see me at a Grenada High sporting event. We might cross paths at the grocery store or the next benefit. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Marianne Bale. Call me at 662-226-4931 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote and to learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. That's Marianne Bale at 662-226-4931. All right, we're back. G finishing his warm-ups, and there goes the throwdown. Good one there by Preston. So uh, we're back and ready to roll, Chip. Yeah, the, when Lake Commerce got somebody on, they've been running. And, uh, you know, G's only given up that one. It was a bunt single yeah. hit. He's done well when he stayed ahead of the hitters, but when he falls behind, he's, he's struggled, which that's yeah. most of your pitchers in this world. So G comes set. There we go, swing and miss. <laughs> right, right on cue, comes with a strike right off the bat. Bottom half of the fourth is where we are. Sets and delivers, a little bit up. Yep. Not a bad pitch, no, see if he'd chase that and maybe pop that up. Good good job there. Batters Callahan, the shortstop, number 14. Comes back upstairs again. Yeah, got to get together right here and uh, focus up. Let's get a strike in here. Yep. 2-1 count, no outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Scoreless tie. Man, he's missed. Man. That one was closer. Yeah, right. I'm not sure where that one was. That wasn't too bad. I, yeah, that that's uh, pretty dang close. Before you can even uh, think, that ball's fouled back behind us. Evens, uh, evens the count. Count goes full. Yet to throw him any breaking stuff. Against Saltilla, he was whipping it out with two strikes. He was. Um, comes inside. Oh, 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 man. Woo. I tell you, it is a tight strike zone, and, and both pitchers have, have been in it. But, boy, that's a tight one there. I, I thought we were going to get a ring up. I did, too. I don't say much when I'm just best sometimes. To yeah. Play. Yeah. I'll All say right. it for you since yeah. you can't do it. Well, I, I know. I'm just not going to. I understand. You but say I, it for me. There goes the runner. First pitch again. Man, they're running. Yep. He's in there. Yeah, he uh, – since you're going to allow me to say it, that was a strike, and he just flat out missed that one. So, there you go. Yep. So, we've got a runner down at second now. Yep. Randall's the batter. Also, your pitcher. He's batting fifth. Number five. Lean, mean, green machine. Yeah, he's Mr. a big Randall, kid. Big guy. A little bit low. Yeah, I think Preston wanted that, didn't get the call. He uh, kind of shook his head a little bit there. I think he I think he thought he had that one. Randall's batting 278. Three six. He's going to come set. There's no outs here in the bottom of the fourth. He's got traffic. Second, swing and miss. Yeah, good pitch. Just blew it right by him there. So Jude's gotten ahead. That's what we like here. Yeah, with a runner on second, got to stay ahead here. We got to yep. get him. Zero, zero, tie in the bottom of the fourth. Jude gets the signal. Clink moves in behind the runner. He's going to look back. Delivers. Mm. Barely in tips it. Yep. Hug in there. 
game within the game, we won. Yeah, Chargers won that one. Uh, great job there by Tanner Fowler, scooping up that foul ball right behind the plate. Huge still ahead, 1-2, one, one, no outs, runner on second. Just lead off batter, Callahan, the shortstop, reached on a walk. Jude, here's that breaking ball. That's what we needed, strikeout. Yeah, that was huge. Yep, it's going to bring up Moberly. Braden lined out the second in the second. Went after the second pitch of that bat. Made an outstanding play in the third. He did. That was a really good play. Down at third. It was a good play. It was good just to make the play, but then he got up and made the throw. Made so. a good throw. Yeah. He sets the livers. Strike. You know, that's that same pitch we threw a while ago that was should have been a strikeout with the guy standing on second down there. But I'll say that for you. Say it for me. There you go. We have a language barrier, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> you have good, I have bad. Somebody's going to drop it. <sighs> Westmoreland gets the sign. Runner's bouncing around at second. Yeah, he's getting hand. a big bounce, too. He's yeah. Secondary is huge. Batter calls time. You can tell he was kind of messing with Jude there. Now, he yeah. bounced off earlier on a big secondary. And he's already stole second after his walk. 0-1 count to Mr. Moberly. There he goes, sets the lever. Breaking ball pitch. fouled off towards the softball field. Look out, Lady Gators and Lady Tigers. Yeah, good pitch there by Jude starting. Uh, well, I guess he didn't start him off with a curveball, but it's a good pitch. Yep. He's gotten way ahead, 0-2. Struck the last batter out, swinging Randall. Got five strikeouts on the game. Clink's now hopping with him. It's like a purette out there. That ball's lined to second. Oh, yeah. Boy, they're fortunate to – a good base runner. I say fortunate. Just a good base runner there by the guy on second. He – he held up on a long, strong line drive right there. Yeah, that ball looked like it was kind of high. I almost chopped at it. I know. It was high, and he did chop at it, but I thought he was getting a base hit out of it. Yeah. He hit it right, too. Right at Ty, uh, Ty Edwards. So that's going to bring up number 21, the D.H. Romero. Romero grounded out the short. Second pitch of his at bat in the second inning. is bottom of the fourth, 0-0. Zero, zero. Comes set. Strike one. Whoa. Ball one. Did Still he? Still been inside. I think we got Mr. Romero's dad by us. He's filming it. Yeah. I bet you do that, don't you? Sometimes. Um, sometimes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not when, when you're not in the box. Yeah, and I don't, you know. Got a 1-0 count. There's strike one. No, it's not. Must be inside. I'm not thinking it's inside. I'm thinking well, then I'm thinking it's a strike. Okay. <laughs> so we got a 2-0 count. I'm trying to explain to you the best way I can. <laughs> so you're not, now, you, now you're not saying anything. Well, I mean, I'm so starting is the way you're acting. I'm scared I'm going to get fined. By <laughs> you're at school district announcing fines on Matt Sir. I don't mean, you know, I'm not going to pay it, but I'm scared I'm going to get a fine for saying something. Yeah, no more cheeseburgers for you, buddy. <laughs> Three O count. I paid for that. I know. Three O count. Two outs. There we go. That's where he wants it, Chip. Right there. Right down the middle. Yeah. Three one. Two outs. Here in the bottom of the fourth, still yeah. scoreless tie. There we go. That one's yeah. right down the middle. Good Romero pitch. swings and fouls it off. Yeah, Romero's in a good spot there. He knew he was probably going to see a fastball 3-1 count. And, just uh, got it mine. He did throw it. He just got it. He just fouled it off there to the left, a little behind it. So you, you kind of looked at Clink when the Callahan, the runner, was not looking and kind of did right. something with his head, like something may be up right here. I doubt it, but he may have just been looking back there. Sets and delivers. And that ball's going to be hit out to left. That's over the Clink's head. And that's going to plate the first run of the game. Yep, that'll plate it. That'll do it right there. Big uh, 
Big hit by Romero for sure. And that'll score the first run of the game for the Lake Cormorant Gators. And yeah, he's uh, hit a little flare. Yeah, it's good at bat. Yeah, thought for a second, Clint may could get to it, but he got over his head. Yeah, good at bat there. He he basically battled that into a situation where he could get a pitch he could handle, and he did it. He just hit it off to the left side there over Clint. Scored the run for yep, second. So. First first run of the game. Yeah. Put the Gators up one to nothing here in the bottom of the fourth. That's right. Two outs, runner on first. Batters Collins, he struck out in the third. There's that pick. Yeah, they've been going on first pitch. Yeah, it was good. Good job there by Jude, and just trying to see if they'd do it again. Romero's the DH. He's your RBI guy tonight. Yeah. Collins, the first baseman. Jude looks at him. Not a big lead over there. I don't think he's going anywhere. And there's a strike. Yeah, and the way these pitchers are pitching. One run, I don't want to say we'll do it, but I, it, you know, runs are a premium, that's for sure. So that's right. That was a good job of hitting on his part, getting the run in. There it is. Five. Yeah. Five. Probably five. He still hasn't shown his best. He's just trying to see yeah, if they're going to take off. He beat the guy off with the tent. Yeah. That's mine. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're all right. We saw you filming. <laughs> You got a big hit. He did. Talking to Mr. Romero's dad now. Yeah, he he did. That was a huge hit. Westmoreland comes set. That's a strike. Good pitch there. So it's a hit 0-2. Yeah, big spot right here for you. Got to get this out, get back to the dugout, and get started swinging these bats. Got to have an out. Need the bats to get warm. Yep. Something needs to get warm. It's not going to be I need us. to get warm, too. No, we're not going to get warm, buddy. We're here. Not anytime soon. So Westmoreland comes set. Delivers and chases the pitch that's up. Yeah, it's a wonder. Oh, my Lord. <sighs> We're going to have a concussion when this Two to one Gators done. are winning the foul ball competition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're they're also winning this game. Yep, one to nothing. Yeah, bottom of the We've got to win one of these, preferably on the now. one that's Can't going on right now. Yeah, they can have the, the, the foul the ball foul competition. Ball competition, yeah. Westmoreland looks at first, delivers. There goes a the runner. Good pitch. pitch. Got him. Yeah, great yeah, pitch. He started that breaking ball out over the middle and it broke inside and low. Yeah, Jude kind of stomping off. He's ready to roll. He try to get these guys fired up, maybe try to get some hits. and Get this thing kicked off for the Chargers. Offense has been basically zero right now. I mean, we ain't had a lot of Hitless. hits. Hitless. Hitless, yeah. So, anyway, with that being said, we'll take a timeout here. hear a word from one of our sponsors. Hey there, this is Kevin Jackson with Landmark Realty, your hometown friends in real estate. Are you looking to purchase your first home or maybe just your move up home? Or maybe you're looking to even sell a home? Well, we've got you covered. Our dedicated team is here to make your real estate journey smooth and stress-free. From charming starter homes to move up homes or even selling your home, we have it all. And here's the kicker. If you scan the barcode now, you'll get our exclusive buyer profile system absolutely free. Your dream home is just one click away. Landmark Realty, where dreams become home. All right, Chip, we're back. Again, we appreciate Landmark Realty. Mr. Kevin Jackson said if... You want a skirt? No, I'm good. <laughs> no, I want skirts. Kevin, right. Kevin Jackson said he'd get us a heater if we needed it. So ah, we can fight through it. I don't know how like other things you've been fighting through, the sickness you've had. Oh, I ain't really been sick in a while, but, you know. Says the guy after, with after nine clinics in his hand. That's true. Fisting a sneeze, too. Just trying to get me sick. All right, so Mr. Paul Black <laughs> walked over to me and, uh, <laughs> and told me that the pitcher is 6'9". So a, he's a little bit taller than that's what I thought. That's a tall drink of water there. Yeah. That's a good, mm. That was a good. He, he umpire strike zone with lefties. That's Brady's lefty. Yeah. No, is this Brady? No, no, this is Hayden. This is Hayden, Hayden Lee. Yeah. yeah. This is Hayden Lee. So we got a three, the three-zero count. Should be, yeah. yeah. 
We need a base runner here. Any way we can get him. Strike one. Randall is the pitcher. He's been mowing us down so far. We're in the top yeah. of the fifth. One nothing. That's a oh man. Oh, boy. <laughs> you want me to say it? Well, he's not been calling. Us. Nope. I told you earlier these calling pitches he didn't call. Yep. Randall swinging oh! miss. That's tough. That's tough. I'd like to see a little bit more consistency there. That was a yeah. good swing by Hayden Lee. He just swung a miss. Swung through it. Yeah. He's hacking. Everybody's going up there hacking. That's a good thing, but we just got to make contact. It's going to bring up Trusty, the third baseman. Trusty uh, grounded out to third. A heck of a play made by the third baseman. There's a breaking ball. That's outside. We're in the top of the fifth. One nothing game. Yeah. Home team head. There's that breaking ball. Strike. Well, the stats that I have are through six games. He's, I mean, six in six games. He's thrown, uh, I think it was 15 innings with one run. Yeah. Yeah, he's been very efficient. Yeah. 2 1 count. Randall's the pitcher. Number five sets and delivers. Strike two. Yeah, good pitch. Brad's going to battle here. Yeah, got to do something. Randall sets. That's low and outside. Yeah, that should be a full count at this point. Yep, full yeah. count it is. Yeah. I hadn't had a lot of them. Old, old Danny's ready to go. He was hopping out of the yeah. on deck circle. He's ready Randall. to roll. That ball's good low. Take, good job. take. Excellent take right there. Yep. That's the first base runners that the Chargers have had since the first. Yeah. And all three of them have been walks. Not a, Not a hit yet, huh? No. Now the head coach is coming out and whispering in the umpires here. Yeah, not sure what that's all about. Yeah, usually they don't. Get, I've never seen one whisper in the ear. I neither. That's, that's awful odd. Yeah. Uh, well, Randall. Issues his third walk of the game. He's got one, two, three strikeouts. Trust he's got good speed. He's at first. Hopper's the batter. There goes Trusty first pitch, and that ball is bounced in there. Yeah. Uh, strange there. The catcher just tried to pop it out and make a throw, and he he still made the throw, just didn't have a ball in his hand. That's right. That's good for the Chargers. Hopper struck out in the second. Yeah, just got to move him here in some way. I'm calling a hit. Calling a hit here? Got nine RBIs on the year. I was thinking bunt. Right at that Mendoza line we like talking about. Trusty. No, no bunt. All right, a little bit late on that one. Uh, we're going to get that one for sure. Oh, oh man. <laughs> he almost fumbled it. Fumbled it. He almost fumbled it. So two got, to two. Yep, we got a one-one count here at the top of the fifth. Our Chargers are down one nothing after the Gators plated one in the bottom of the fourth. Randall sets. Oh, there's a bunt. Yep, that's, that's that missing. bunt. He'll throw it back down the second. Got him. Gosh, he did. It's I, close. I told, thought he did. Good grief. Good tag. It was. I don't think Trusty realized he was throwing down because he didn't slide or anything. He just – Got back, so snap throw on the hop. Yeah, nice Sunday hop. You yeah, what you wanted. Yeah, you do. Good job there by the catcher. So Randall comes set, delivers, and that ball's way out of third. Hopper's gonna try to beat this out. Now he throws it low, and that's yeah. gonna score the run. Yes, sir. Nobody covered. Small Nobody ball covered the plate. Yeah. And I think Hopper's safe on first. I don't he think is. he got him. He didn't catch the ball. Oh, ball. he's calling him out. Yeah, he's calling him out. I, I didn't think he caught it. I didn't either. Uh, well, either way, it scored the run. Hopper strikes out, but takes off running on the drop by the catcher, and uh, no one covered home. So the tie ball game now, big time for the Chargers. That's right. Oh, oh. spins out of the way. Yeah. 
Be ball one. Scoring a run without a hit. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it right now for sure. That's a 2-0 count. Man, you know, it's, it's the old cliche, walks kill, and boy, do they. They Man, do. It just, they just always come back to haunt you. Randall sets and delivers. That's a strike. Yeah, good pitch right there. Just coming right back in there. I think the count's 2-1. I think you're right. Hubbard flat out to left in the top of the third. Swings and misses that one. Yeah, big swing there by Hubbard. He's going to have to shorten it up right here, try to put it in play. Chargers have played it one to tie the game. That's low. Yeah, good take. Should be full count, right? I can't see the umpires not holding it up very high. Yeah. Full count. Now we're getting some chirps. Yeah, he's saying 2-2, two -two, but it's it's full count, I believe. Yeah, he's going to ground that third, third baseman. Takes it on a hop, guns it across, and that'll end the yeah. inning for the Chargers. But we score a run and yeah. tie this game up. Yeah, big game is back to 0-0. Jude headed back out onto the mound to try to uh, shut them out for an inning as well. So with that being said, we'll take a timeout and hear a word from one of our sponsors. There are times in life when we find ourselves in need, when we call upon the help of our closest friends and family. As your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, I want to be on that list. I'm from right here in Grenada, Mississippi, and I'm here to help you and your family. I'm Robert Carolla. Call me at 662-226-4931 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote and to learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. Go Chargers! All right, we're back. G back out on the mound, and uh, it's a one-to-one -one game now, totally different. Yep. Going Jude's gonna into the bottom half of the fifth. Avoid the wall. Make him hit the ball. It's going to bring up Tyler Stevens. He's the left fielder. Yeah, the wall. He's the one is, with the uh, butt single earlier. He's yeah, he squared, squared again, again, ain't he? He's faking. That ball is fouled back to the right. Yep. It's going to be out of play. Yep, yeah, he uh, he squared around and looked like he was going to try to bunt, pulled it back, a little slash action there. Since you get ahead, man, it's dark out here. Isn't it, though? I'm thinking the same thing. Nothing out here. No. Sets, delivers, and foul off again to right the right. He's behind his butt. Yep. The fans are calling him T. Short for Tyler. Westmoreland's ahead, 0-2. There'll be no drag bunt this inning. Jude sets, delivers, breaking ball in the dirt. Good pitch. Your hands cold? Everything's cold. Want one of these pairs of gloves? My hands are starting to sweat. I got two on. <laughs> Y'all at home can't see him. He looks like he's about to hit the slopes of Breckenridge over here beside me. That was and a his jacket's a heater. I hadn't turned that on yet. Good pitch there. <laughs> Not Struck nice. him out. Yeah. You, you missed my Dumb and Dumber reference on the gloves, by the way. <laughs> Boo on you. <laughs> you like, would you like a pair of my gloves? My hands are sweating. <laughs> Got two. <laughs> You've had two all this time? Ah, can't help it. Uh, I'll have to go home and watch it. Refresh me. All right, strikeout. Mr. Stevens leads off the bottom of the fifth. It's going to bring up Wicks and the leadoff guy. He has struck out, been hit by a pitch on a full count, I believe. First pitch is a ball. 
Juju's working fast. Ooh. He pulls that ball oh, out he left sure field line. Look out, cars. He was going to test the fence on that yeah. one, wasn't he? I mean, if you look out towards right center where that foul pole is, yeah. Oh, yeah. that looks like the shallowest part of the park almost. Yeah. Just yeah. because it's got trees sitting you right can see behind things. it. Yeah. yeah, I agree. You get set, delivers breaking balls, oh, foul. No, that's, that's, that's fair ball. ball. Yeah. That's fair ball. Tough play there yeah. uh, for Trusty. Had to backhand that across the bag, and that's just going to go down as a base hit there. Yeah, I'm not sure if he gets him or if he catches it. Yeah, he I'm, I'm not sure. Um, that's that leadoff guy, your catcher, too, by the way. Yeah, yeah, he moving. didn't have a ton of speed, but you know what? It doesn't matter if you get on. No, I think he's pretty – I think he's good. Probably like Preston. Number two, Grant Maybe. Mitchell. Preston's pretty fast for a big boy, man. Yeah. So that's going to bring up the right fielder, Mitchell. Mitchell, 267, two RBIs. He's a lefty. Strike zone's been kind of shifted with lefties, and that ball's up. If you're just tuning in, which most people are not, but my brother just texts me and he's just tuning in, the scoreboard is broken. It's not working. Yeah. So if you do see it eight to six, that was a prior game. We can't get it to go off, but it's actually a tie tie a tied ball game one to one. So there's that pick. Yeah, the the Gators have, when they've gotten on base, they've they've taken off. Stealing. Yeah. Yeah, usually on that first Gators move. usually aren't very fast. Really? Alligator. You ever seen a move? I've never. Hey, let me tell you something. I can get away from a gator. A bear? No. Jude uh, had him leaning that time. Boy, that was a good pitch. I don't know I'm where I'm telling you, his strike zone against Shoot. lefties is like there is no inner half. Because well, that's a strike. They asked him, was it outside? And, and Preston nodded his head, yes. So it was out, apparently. It looks good sitting right here, though. Yeah. That's a 2-1 count. He's going to be going at some point. Looks like this is it. No, he leaned back. He laid off. He he thought about it, I think. But I think after Jude's done picked him off once, they're a little bit on the nervous side about that. You bundling up over there, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> Want one of these coats I have on? <laughs> oh, man. This will never happen again. Uh, All right. 3-1 count. Man, that's up. He walks him. Ugh, that's not good. So they had a single by Wicks in the leadoff hitter. Hit one down the line. Trusty tried to backhand it and get to it. And then Mitchell was walked. Juke started the inning by striking out. Yeah. The number nine hitter, the left fielder, Tyler Stevens. Bringing up Agner. Two eighty six to lefty. Jude sets and delivers. That's up. Yeah, a little sticky spot here for Jude. We got to do something here. Do have the one out, so you're one ground ball away from getting out of it. Uh, but you know you got a runner in scoring position here. Another guy on, on first and. You do not have the time glavin rule in effect right no. here, so we got to do something. We'll come set, delivers. Good That's pitch. A strike. That's got to be a strike. Yeah. That even the count up one one with one out. Runners on first and second for the Gators. The last inning they scored their first run of the game. Took a one nothing lead. Chargers battled back, top of the fifth, tied it up. Sets and delivers. That's strike two. Swings through it. We Foul need it. a uh, go ahead and call this a hard ground ball to either tie or Drew right here. You're calling it. Drew's giving that non-verbal communication. Look yeah, out. he's smooth with all that, isn't he? He, he looks, looks good. Huh? He even did his old clap like the coach with the glove. Yeah, on. with the glove on. Yeah, yeah. So we got a one-two count, one out, bottom of the fifth. Runners on first and second. Westmoreland sets and delivers. There's that breaking ball. Oh, That's going to be got hitting the ground. hole, but he got it. Oh, oh no. Bad throw. Somebody get home. The Somebody plate. get home. It's going to get by Jude, and that's going to score one. Yeah. Uh, it was the right play. Drew went the way it carried him. I He just didn't get a good throw on it. That's all there is to it. Preston did a great job of backing Hustling. that up and telling Jude to cover home. He you know, the captain's directing traffic out there, which is what he's got to do. Uh, but he just couldn't get to the ball and get it to Jude in time. And they do score a run, and they got 
yeah. two runners in scoring yeah, position yeah, now with only now. one out. So got on second and third, and that's gonna bring up the cleanup hitter yeah. Callahan. Yeah, we got got that ground ball I was looking for. It just wasn't hard enough and in the right spot. Callahan, movie reference, shoot. Tommy boy. <laughs> right, Callahan it. Motors. Callahan Motors, that's it. I couldn't remember <laughs> if it was tires or what it was. Yeah. All right, so Gators have scored another in the bottom of the fifth. They've got a 2-1 lead. They've got runners on second and third. Schnikes. Yeah. Callahan walked in the last inning and scored. Scored the first run. He's going to square it. And they Boy, it they, way down the yeah. line. I think they were anticipating him touching that. Wasn't a suicide squeeze. No, safety safe squeeze. Safety squeeze there. Yeah. Yep. Westmoreland comes set, delivers, strike. Yeah, a good pitch. He's not been calling that one. He's not been calling that on left-handed hitters. Right-handed hitters, that's a different story. Yeah. Preston just immediately threw it back. Like, he was striking him yeah. time to do anything. He swings and misses. Big, huge strikeout. Huge, huge, huge. Yeah, that's big. Still got him on second and third. Got to get this out. And this is the pitcher coming to the plate here. Yep, it's going to bring up Randall. Struck out twice, once in the second, once in the fourth. There we go. Went right after him. Yep. Good idea. Yeah, and he went after it too, you know. Fouled it off right behind us. They may have a deal since they're both pitching hay. It's yeah. cold out here. Yeah. Hey, swing. Swing now. I'm going to throw you strike. You <laughs> He's going to win that deal since he doesn't bat. <laughs> yeah, good point. There you go. Strike two. Foul Fouls it right back off again. So Jude's gotten ahead, 0-2. Got two outs after running in some trouble here at the bottom of the fifth. Gators have scored one, taking a 2-1 lead. Runners on second and third. Jude sets, delivers, and that ball's oh, up. Yeah, good Swings, pitch. Throws it by. He had a lot to choose from there, and he just went right back to the fastball, didn't he? Yeah. So good job there by Jude. He's six nine, and that ball was high. Yeah, high yeah it's high fastball, and yeah. Well, with that being said, you know, like Cormorant scores one, they're back up by one run, going into the top half of the sixth. Chargers got to do something here, get something going. So we're gonna take a break and hear another word from one of our sponsors. folks i'm robbie and i'm paul and we're here at wine on a tractor and equipment well guys with spring approaching we have golf coming up and ball tournaments coming up these guys can enjoy every bit of that yeah. every bit of it knowing that their wife is home comfortably mowing on a kubota zero turn right here baby if you really love her uh, and you want to make it easy on her after yeah. she's been mowing all day comfortably yeah. on a kubota zero turn yeah. Get on any of our Kubota RTVs and haul the weed eater and gas down there to her. So she well, I hate to cut Paul Black off in his commercial. We'll just get He's back to him way. later. He is, he, but it's a good commercial, man. I like that one. Yep. All right, so All right. Randall's still pitching. We're yeah. into the sixth. 2-1 Gator lead. Strike. Yeah, Drew Klink at the plate. We need one of those Drew Klink gappers right here. Oh. Yep. Randall sets, delivers. Same pitch. Did not call that one, did he? No. Working fast. Been doing it the whole game. Sets and delivers. Bounces it in. You don't see Drew chase a lot. No. Even when he gets two strikes, he's got a pretty good eye for the strike zone. Yeah, he does. Drew is a, a good hitter. See Kerry Housel's over there with one of these jackets with the heater on. Yeah, yeah, that light's on, ain't it? Hint, hint, Brooke. <laughs> hint, hint. 
Father's Day, my birthday. Any, so that's not going to do me any good in June, is it? <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> but it will in it the fall. It will in the fall. Yeah. Oh, he rips that, that ball. ball. Way out to left. And he's going to hit it right to him. Golly, what a great hit there by Drew Clink. You just had this – I just had this gut feeling. I'm not sure about you. I guess I shouldn't speak for you, but I felt like – he just was due. He was fisting a rip one, and man, he did just right at him. Man, turned on it. It's gonna bring up downs. Three fifty-four in the year. We need a base runner here in the top of the six. Gators ahead two-one. Randall sets, delivers, bounces. Sets, delivers again. That's low and outside. Yep. Downs is grounded out the second and lined out the short, so he's hit the ball at the middle twice. Sets and delivers. That's Woo. Call that one a strike. Yep. 2-1. That ball's going to be a hit. Get yep. down. Yeah. That's what we needed. Preston has uh, flirted with it all night long. He has touched the ball every time he's come to the plate, line out, ground ground ball, and then that was a base hit right there. So. We'll get a courtesy runner. Yeah, that's going to be DeAndre Rimmer. Rimmer had an excellent, excellent throw. Did you? Well, you, you said I'm, you were watching. I did. I watched it off and on when we weren't playing. I would watch it. Then it was a great – Great uh, tag by Preston. I mean, boy, it was, you know, yeah. it was one of those bang, bang plays, but you could just see it, it was going to be close. Was that the dive over at home where the kid dove, like, trying to dive over Preston? I, I don't remember if that – I did see a play where he tried to dive I over him. I don't know if touch. that was it. Maybe okay. that was it. I don't remember. I, I did see – I saw that one. I'm not sure I saw this one. It was one. an exciting play Saturday. All right, well, we got to remember the courtesy runner at first after down singles into left center. It's going to bring up Dylan Black. One of the team leaders and RBIs. There he goes. Oh, boy, that was a he heck of a throw, him. and he got him. Yeah. Good throw. Looked like it was bang, bang play. Yeah. Yeah, I believe the uh, – I think he got him. Uh, yeah, he got him. Rimmer picking up his hat and his glove. I think Rimmer's leg or something must have hit him in the head. Kind of knocked his hat and glasses off. And Rimmer, being the good kid that he is, he picked up his stuff and patted him on the butt and asked him if he was all right. So good job by DeAndre Rimmer there. But he is out. He did uh, he did get thrown out. Great throw by that catcher. I tell you what, that yeah. was a heck of a throw. I hate to see that. That was a base runner good and baseball swifty player. one He's too. Also that lead off the guy that's been on base. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So now we got. Two outs after Rimmer's caught stealing Black's behind in the count, and he gets hit right in that left bicep. Yep. Didn't even flinch, did he? He wears no padding. Nope. Wouldn't have mattered. Really. I like it, too. Don't yeah. wear the padding. Don't be a as, – as, <laughs> as Eli Palmer strides to the plate with pads. But in all fairness, he needs pads. Yeah. He needs a body suit. He needs a complete body armored suit. Yeah, I believe this kid may be bleeding. Yeah. They got him in the nose. Yep. I believe they're going to bring him off the field and let him try to tend to his injury. So, with that being said, we'll take a break and hear a word from Paul Black, one of our great sponsors. Well, hello, folks. I'm Robbie. And I'm Paul. And we're here at Wine on a Tractor and Equipment. Well, guys, with spring approaching, we have golf coming up and ball tournaments coming up. These guys can enjoy every bit of that. Yeah. Every bit of it, knowing that their wife is home comfortably mowing on a Kubota Zero turn. Right here, baby. If you really love her uh -huh. and you want to make it easy on her, after yeah. she's been mowing all day comfortably yeah. on a Kubota Zero turn, yeah. get on any of our Kubota RTVs and haul the weed eater and gas down there to her so she ain't got to walk to get it. Paul, that is an excellent idea. Why didn't I think of that? Kubota offers 0% financing on all models. We can get that payment just right for you where you'll have enough money left over at the end of the week to take her out for all her hard work. Well, folks, when you think about a tractor for your wife, remember, think why not on a tractor and equipment.
back. Shortstop's cleaned up and ready to play. We got Eli Palmer at the plate. Yep. So we got the tying run on first with two outs here in the top of the six. Great that move. I didn't even see it. I was looking for a player card. I apologize. About I was four. Looking for Ty Edwards' player card so I could pop it up when he comes to the plate here, even though he was laughing at me and you all ago. That happens. Kids like laughing. I mean, they're staring at us and giggling. I mean, what's not to look at right here? That's right. right. Shit. All right. So Randall gets ahead in the count. Eli has struck out and gotten a walk. That's low and outside. Yeah, not a not a great pitch there. Good job there by Eli hanging in there with that. Black, he after got hit with the pitch with the 0-2 count. Randall helped him out. Sets. That's low. Yeah. So it's 2-1. Need base runners. Need a run. We need to tie this thing up. We're in the top of the six. Gators are ahead 2-1. Scored runs in the last two innings. Must be outside. Yeah, again, scoreboard's not working. So, top half of the six, Gators are leading two to one over the Chargers right now. All right, three one. Hitters count, Eli. And that's outside. Yeah, good take there by Eli. And uh, we got something cooking here, Chip. Look out. Two out rally. One of my favorite things about baseball. Yep. Here comes the coach. He's going. Take a time out and go talk to his pitcher. And uh, so while he does that, we'll take a break. And unless you got something you want to talk about, we're going to take a break and hear a word from one of our sponsors. All right, he's through meeting with his pitcher, and he's not going to take him out. And you just asked me how many pitches he's thrown. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have game changer on right here, so I don't know. But gotcha. uh, top half of the six, and he's been pretty efficient. I don't think yeah. he's thrown a whole bunch. No. Edwards is the batter. He's the second baseman, batting over 300 with nine RBIs, nine stolen bases. Need you to come through right here, Mr. Ty Edwards. Yeah, big hit right here. Been low on the last few pitches. Now one's low and outside. He's missing oh. in that same spot. What just happened? Well, the catcher oh. popped oh. up and oh. popped up and threw down to second. And uh, he thought the runner had gotten a little too far off, so he snapped through down to second, and it was a bad throw. Well, and the last throw to second was a pretty good. Pretty throw. good throw. Yeah, yeah. They kind of getting on his case over here, but I'm gonna be honest with you. That last time he threw down there, he really. Probably should have had an out, to be honest. Yeah, you got a 2-1 lead, though. You may sit on it. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. I guess. Now the tying runs at third. Got a runner at first here in the top of the six. And that's low. I'm telling you, he's missing low and outside. It's a 2-0 count. Never going to fault the kid for being aggressive, though. No. He needs to look for his pitch right here. And that's up. It's 3 0. So we've had a walk and a hit batter. It's a little rally after Rimmer was caught stealing. Yeah. And that's right down the middle. It's okay. It was a 3 0 count. It's 3 1 count. Two outs. Top of the six. 2 1 Gator lead here at Lake Comrade. It's a chilly night. Wind's been blowing from left to right field. That's up. Ty laid off. Good, Good take. Good job, yep. Bases are loaded. Alan Lee just texted me and said, pitcher is actually over 100 pitches. I can't believe that. But he usually knows better than I do. And they're going to take him out right here. Yeah. So he giving up yeah, one right hit. Right on cue. So, yeah, he's done a great a job hit, tonight. Um, really has. He's been very efficient even with the 100 pitches. But. Uh, he's done a great job. So while they get a new pitcher warming up, we're going to take a break and hear another word from one of our sponsors. 
There are times in life we find ourselves in need. We call upon the help of our closest friends and family. As your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, I want to be on that list. I'm from right here in Grenada, and I'm here to help you and your family during your time of need. My name is Matt McCroy. Give me a call today at 662-418-5897 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote and to find out more about how we at Farm Bureau Insurance can help save you time and money. Go Chargers! For over 20 years, Oil Man Supply has proudly served the Grenada community and the South with its lubricants and automotive supplies. We provide services for all your agricultural, commercial, industrial, and residential needs. We pride ourselves in customer service and delivery. For more information on how we can help you, call Rick Palmer at 662-417-1586 or come visit our warehouse at 31 Tuscoma Street in Hawkeye. Go Chargers! We're back. Cut that one short because it's a longer commercial. Um, getting some messages that we don't have any sound. I'm gonna see if that's still the case. If you're out there and you can't hear us, please let us know. We're gonna keep talking like you can. Though. There you go. All right. So we're in the bottom of the six. Chargers in the top of the six. Leave the bases loaded. Runner get on, it was hit by a pitch and walked, and then another batter was hit by a pitch. They were all three stranded. Westmoreland stops, starts off the bottom of six with a strike. Batters Moberly, third baseman, he's lined out the second twice. He swings and misses. That ball kind of pops Preston. Not sure where it got him. Don't give him a second. Looks like it may have got him in the hand. Yeah, got him on the hand. Yeah. How warm his hand up at least. Yeah. <laughs> He's a catcher. He'll be fine. So Westmoreland's ahead, 0-2. Third baseman for the Gators. 
Moberly. 2-1 Gator lead here in the bottom of the six. Chilly night. Very here up in northeast Mississippi. This morning delivers and that ball's fouled out of play. Yeah, good pitch. It is a good pitch. See if he gets tries to get him to chase the curveball here. Jude has nine strikeouts on the night. Yeah, what a night for Jude. I've done a heck of a job. Sets and delivers, and there it is. He yeah. has 10 strikeouts on the night. Yeah, good job there by pressing yeah. two, keeping that ball in front, and tagging the guy out. Now batting. Go bring up Number Mario. Number 21, Jake Romero. Jake's got the RBI single in the bottom of the fourth. Yeah, that yeah. was the first run, right? Yeah, yeah. a little looper over Clink's head. Scored Callahan second. Callahan had walked. So we got one out. That ball's grounded to, sh to short. Clink comes in, makes the play. Good play there by Drew. Yep, yeah, stayed down on the ball. Took kind of a little yeah. funny hop at the end. That was certainly a tough ground ball. It wasn't hit very hard. Kind of a uh, you know, weak dribbler out there. He comes in on it, makes a good throw, gets him by step. So smooth, great job by Drew. Smooth yeah. play by Drew. Yeah, that's because Drew is smooth. That's right. Maybe that's his new nickname. Smooth. Smooth. All right. Smooth Clink. Smooth Clink. I call him. Well, that's his brother. That ball's punted right. Boy, punted. Punted? It was punted, punted or, right or bunted, what it, whichever. Punted or bunted right back to I tell you what, Jude. he's out. How about that? He is out, and, and Jude's trying to get him fired up because at the end of the day, Jude has pitched plenty well enough to win this ball game. They need some hits. So, with that being said, going into the top half of the seventh where they'll have their last chance right here. So, we're going to take a time out and hear a word from our sponsors. Side of this one church town, there's a gold dirt road to a whole lot of nothing. Got a deed to the land, but it ain't my ground. This is God's country. I saw the light in a sunrise, sitting back in a 40 on the muddy riverside, getting baptized in holy water and shine with the dogs running. Back, number nine is playing shortstop right now. We're back. This is it, Chip. We gotta score some runs here, or a run at least. Tie this thing up. Two would be great. Yeah. Trusty's gonna be leading us off here. He's got on his last at bat, stole a base, and ended up scoring. Got the lone run scored for the Chargers. Romero, that's up, man. Never mind, it's not up. It's a strike. <laughs> Keep our mouths shut over here. Callahan. That ball's lined down the right field line. That's trouble. Tough play. That's trouble. He did not he make the play. It. That's going to get Trusty to second. Yep. Yes, Trusty's going to stay there. Stand up double for the Braden Trusty. Help me. Did you see it? Did it get to his glove? It did get to his glove, but that was a tough play. I don't know. I guess well, I I'm probably going to gonna give him a hit on that, Chip. That was a – it did get to his glove, but, I mean, that was a really good sprint. hit. He was yeah. on a dead sprint. I'm going to give him a hit on that. All right. Hey, I'm all for it. So, hey, we got the tie and run at second here at the top of the seventh. And I'm a hard scorer, but that that's a hit. That's a double. Brimmer's in batting for Hopper. He's a, he's a junior. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a junior, number nine. It's a big spot here. Maybe sacking him over. I'm wondering that myself. It's yeah. A very good chance with him at the plate right here that we're sacking. Yeah, he squares. That ball's in the dirt. And oh, now, the and now we don't even have to yeah, move now, him over. Now we got a good situation right here. Hubbard can, uh, I mean, Rimmer can just swing away, try to put this ball in play right here. Tie and run. No outs. 
Hey, buddy, I brought you an extra pencil tonight, too, by the way, just Thanks. in case you needed it. It has to be really sharp. That's not going to work. Well, you might need the eraser. So that ball's outside. 2 0 count. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I tore the eraser off this one. Thank you. Right. Don't eat erasers. I don't. I'm going to throw it away. That was a kid. You put, it on, put it on the ground. All right. 2 1 count with Rimmer. That, that long run, we need to keep this thing going. Is on third, and that's low and inside. Tell you what, over at Saltilla, he had one of the biggest at bats. He did. Yeah. You know, that night he fell behind in that account. He's ahead 3 1 right here. He's going to get whatever he wants. And there it is. He threw not a good swing. No, that's kind of a half hearted swing there. I don't know what he was looking for. So, 3 2. Top of seven. That's outside. Yep. Low misses. Rimmer's going to walk. Oh, Rimmer, he, he gets some big walks, don't he? Yeah. He comes up big when he has to, and that was a good job there by Rimmer. Comes to coach. Coach going to call a timeout. And he's going to whisper again. And he what he's going to say here is is that Rimmer has already substituted in, and he's not subbing in. He's just he was a courtesy, was a courtesy runner. runner. Uh, so they can ask that, but a courtesy runner can come in for someone sure. else. So. The only other thing he may be asking here is did he announce that he was subbing subbing him? So I'm a little bit confused about that. Could be potentially what did I didn't see Flake go over and tell him he was coming to the plate. Did you? It sure has gotten quiet all of a sudden, hasn't it? Like we yeah, can hear what it's they're peaceful. saying. Peaceful. Peaceful. <laughs> other than my What'd teeth like? chattering. What, did you like? <laughs> yeah. What about the? Uh, I'd rather go to Salt Tiller here. I'd rather go here. This yeah, is a quicker drive. It's nice, yeah, it? it's it's way nicer. Yeah, absolutely, no doubt about it. Much rather go here. The so Hubbard's gonna be your batter whenever we get back to play. Like we said, the three umpires are talking about. Rimmer was a courtesy runner earlier in the game, and he yeah looked like it was pinch hitting for Hopper. Yeah, I, that's. That is perfectly legal if that's what they're talking about. I don't know if that's what the case is or not. And they're going to come over and talk to Coach Flake now. But, I mean, as a courtesy runner, that's a free runner. So, shouldn't be a problem. Well, I got it in the books. Come on, guys. Coach Flake's telling him, yeah, he was a courtesy runner for downs when he singled and he got caught stealing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why there's so much confusion about this. I know we're quiet because we're sitting here trying to figure out what they're saying and you know what they're going to call here. But Hubbard, that's that's not that's a no call. I mean, he's a courtesy runner, so it doesn't matter. What are we doing? So they're calling him out. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. We're not getting. Any kind of explanation, umpires definitely didn't say out loud what well, happened. So, I'm the I'm tied runs. I'm still on third, just one out. Now. Yeah, I'm wondering if Coach Flake didn't announce that he was actually subbing for uh, for Daniel Hopper there. Maybe I, that's the only thing I could think of. No. Yeah. On to Hubbard, and there's a bunt. It's right out front. It does. Chargers come out hollering, saying it was fair. Uh-oh, chirping yeah. amongst the fans. Well, the Grenada, Grenada fans, the Grenada uh -oh, fans no. are correct. It did hit off the plate. The catcher tried to field it off the plate, which is fair territory. That's right. He dropped the ball. It rolled into foul territory. He called it foul, but the catcher had already come out from behind the plate, tried to play that ball off the plate. That's a fair ball by the rule, but he called it foul, and so we have hovered back to the plate. So, And we have an out. And we do have an out, yeah. So, so Hubbard's o down 0-1 now. Pitcher sits, and man, swings at a high strike. Yeah, that's tough. No, it's 0-2. Tying runs on third. That's the good news. We're in the top of the seventh. Scores 2-1 Gators. Yeah. 
Just got to put this ball in play. Right <laughs> yeah. side scores a run. Just hit it to the right side. Yeah. Infield they are in. playing in, though. Chases it and he's going to throw it down to third. And that gets by. Look at here, look at here. They've gifted us a run. Oh, and he's pulled a muscle or something. They stepped on him. They oh, stepped man. on him. I believe they stepped on him. Mm, mm, mm. That's going to be Braden Trusty, guys, and he is hurting. He couldn't get home. I believe he cleated him. I believe he stepped on the back of his leg. Well, he took one for the team. Mm. And he made it halfway down the baseline. He's hurt. Yeah, you know, I can hear him over there. That started not good. He, he made it about eight steps on adrenaline, probably. Yeah, and he he hobbled all the way in. Good for news. The score. Good news. We've got that one it's a tie ball game. Yeah, it's going to bring up Drew Clink, who absolutely tattooed one directly at the left fielder in his last at bat. Yeah, and the that's low. big spot here for the Chargers. We got two outs now and tie ball game, but the, uh, the foul the. Foul, the ball competition has died. It, it nobody cares anymore. Uh -uh. That's low and outside. Nobody but uh, Tanner Fowler. That's all right. And he's still playing it hard too. So, so Clink's ahead 2-0 here at the top of the seventh. We fought back and tied it. 2-1 count. Man, misses. Not sure about that one, but we'll take it. 3-1. Yeah. 3-1 count. Callahan sets and delivers. Grounds one to third. That's going to get going to be a base hit right there for Drew Clink. That's another great job of hitting Drew Clink. Boy, he, he rounded hard. Rounded hard. Thought about a second. Came back. But uh, good job there by Drew. Hey, scored a couple runs because of Miss throws. Yeah. You know, why not make them throw it around a little yeah, bit? Yeah, good point. It's going to bring up downs. Just put the aluminum on the, yeah. on the ball. All three at bat. Single his last at bat. And that's low and outside. Yeah, Preston's looked good at the plate so far. He, you know, unfortunate that he hadn't uh, – didn't get a hit in the first two, two tries, but he really laced one in the last one. Time's called by Preston. He got some of this dirt flown up in his eyes. Look at him. He's ready. Yeah. He's the guy born in here in this situation. Clink may be going. You have to see a move from Callahan over the first. He says delivers and he bounces it. And he's there. There. Oh, yeah. get up, Drew. Get up, Drew. Nah, not far oh. enough away. Let's don't take that chance for Preston at the plate. He may lace one right here in the yep. in the gap. He gets one in the gap right here. We're going to. Take We're going to score a run, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't take that chance. You're saying smooth. You I'm run. saying smooth can run. He smooth can smooth can run, the run. Yeah, especially with two outs. As long as Preston puts some aluminum on it, he's going to be going. And that's low. 3-1. No. Big spot right here. All right. Low and inside, and that'll walk him. Four pitch walk for Preston. Yep. Now I got runners at first and second. There's your Glavin rule. Yeah, I and, put him on. and honestly, not a bad idea there, huh? Nope. Of course, Dylan. now you got to face Dylan Black. That's right. Dylan's walked and been hit by a pitch, and he flew out the center. Hit a ball pretty well out the center. Coach is going to trot out. Yeah, talk to him for a minute. I don't know that he's going to take him out of the ball game. He may just be talking right here. Yeah. Chargers all jog over to the third base side. Courtesy runner in for Preston Downs. That's going to be Tanner Fowler. No, well, he's he's loose. <laughs> What a great point, Chip. <laughs> He's loose. He's loose. He's been running sprints in front of us. Uh, yeah. 15-yard sprints all night. Yeah. Yeah. He's loose. That's for sure. So, so after the meet in Callahan, he's still the pitcher. Tie-tie game. The Chargers have come back and played it one here in the top of the seventh to tie it up. Got runners on first and second. Dylan Black is your batter. 
one of the team RBI leaders. Starts him off with a breaking ball, and that's low. Drew Clink trying to draw that throw out there. Yeah. Smooth, trying to get him to throw and make a bad throw and score. Score. I'll take it. Absolutely. You can get it at this point. Callahan sits, delivers, and that's outside. 2-0. I believe this wind's kicking up a little bit more. Yeah, and it's not going to get any warmer until that sun gets up. We well, ain't going to be here that long. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> Two <laughs> <just> counts. <laughs> That's high. Oh, gracious. 2-1 count. Yeah, you, you just jinxed it. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> mm. Gets into those hours. I'm buddy. not going to be out. here. I can tell you right no, now. No, sir. I'll be sitting in the parking lot of school yep. waiting on my son to get home. Here comes Callahan delivers. And that's inside. Oh, man. Goodness gracious. Goodness uh, gracious. I believe the umpire is getting into the moment here. Yeah. A little too much. 2-2 two -two count. Tie game. Top of seven. Runners on first and second. It's a big pitch. Big at bat. Dylan uh, fouls it off. Foul ball. Be ready, Dylan. Uh, Big spot right here. You know Dylan can hit the baseball. He, senior captain, love to see him put us ahead right here. Yep, just drop one in there somewhere. Hit us a line drive. Now well, hits one up there. Yeah, he gets that one up too high. It's Center fielder a, comes in. A play there. He so. makes the play. Yep. So, well. It don't matter now. We, we scored one. That's right. Chargers do come in, tie the ball game up, and uh, we're going to the bottom half of the seventh inning where the Chargers will have to uh, – Hold them right here. So we'll see what happens. We're going to take a timeout and hear a word from one of our sponsors. At Farm Bureau Insurance, local agents like me are on a mission. It's our duty to offer you the right insurance so you can protect what's important to you. I enjoy using my time and insurance expertise to help folks in the Grenada community. It's just what I do. I'm George Chandler. Give me a call at 662-414-0541 for a quick home and auto or life insurance quote. And to learn more about Farm Bureau Insurance so you can save money and time. Go Chargers. Parents and students are just shocked when they find out with a 20 on your ACT, you could go to Home CC for free. Do you have a 20 on your ACT? Why, yes. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a sec. You're right. I am shocked. You're saying my tuition could be free? <laughs> yes. And your household income does not matter. Why in the world would Holmes Community College offer free tuition with a 20 on the ACT? See, we don't want you drowning in college debt when you graduate. In fact, all of us here at Holmes are so committed to our students' success, we've kept our tuition, well, lower than every other state community college. And even though parents and students are shocked by it and have a hard time believing it, just remember, your tuition could be free with a 20 on your ACT at Holmes CC. Sounds to me like there's no place like Holmes. That's Holmes Community College. All right, Chair, we're back. Um, where Jude's headed back out to the mound. I think he's thrown 130 pitches, according to uh, Alan Lee in that last right. inning. Uh, we do have some defensive uh, or a defensive shift um, with Trusty getting hurt. We've got um, Hunter Watson coming in at second, and that shifts everybody over. you got uh, Ty Edwards over at short, and now Drew Klink at third. Um, something going on here with Coach Flake and the umpire. They're, they're not getting along. I'm not exactly sure what that was about. But um, anyway, tie ball game. Probably that out. Probably. So Hopper's still in center. Yeah. The only defensive change was that Hunter Watson came in at second base Clean. and moved everybody else over one spot. So he'll be in trusty spot. He's got a 1-1 one, one count. Yes. Right. And he did not call that. Nope. This is Stevens. Uh, batter. Gracious. 2-1 count. Westmoreland sets, delivers. That's low. 3-1. Yeah, 
Yeah, three-one count now. It's Stevens is the nine-hole hitter, so you don't want to put him on if you make him hit it. Jude sets, and there you go, Jude. Grounds one to third. Clink fields it yeah. cleanly, gets him at first. Yeah, good play there by Drew Clink. AKA uh, smooth. smooth. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Walker, It's gonna bring up Wixon, the catcher. He's had a good night. Struck out the first, hit by a pitch in the third, singled in the fifth, scored a run. Second run of the game for the Gators. We are tied 2-2 in the bottom of the second. That's high and outside. Yeah, Charger still nobody warming up in the pen. Right now it's all Jude. See Eli Housel walking around in the dugout Set. over there. Strike. Stevens the count at one and one. Man, on some warm weather at this point. Man, yeah. This took me backwards a month. I agree with you. Let's more than set. Uh, try to give you a chase. 2 1. Chase a strike. You ain't jumping in that pool tomorrow, are you? No. Set me back a month. Yeah, no doubt. Good pitch. Yep. Swing and miss. 2 2. Jude's one out. Over 100 pitches, but he's still throwing like he's. Good pitch. At 20. 20, yeah. He wants this win. There we go. That's fouled off to the right. He does want it. I'll give you. I'll give him that. He there is goes Sam Eisel. battling for it too. Sam's taking off. They may never see Sam again. <laughs> two two count. One out. Bottom of the seventh. And that ball's popped up. Edwards gets under. Makes the easy play. All right. Number two. Coach Flake going to go out to, uh, at this point, I'm not sure what we're doing unless, I don't think we've had anybody warming up in the pen, so. Uh, may have been warming up earlier. Well, he may have, and I missed it. It's possible. Um, I, yeah, there he comes. He must have been warming up already. So it looks like Eli Housel's going to come out. He's going to take Jude out. He's over 100 pitches by now. He's probably over 110, so I, I get it. It's a cool night. Jude has pitched a heck of a ball game, so uh, he greets Eli Howell coming to the mound, and his whole team's going to meet him at the dugout, and rightfully so. He's pitched a great ball game, uh, and he wants the win. He's not going to get it, uh, but uh, he certainly put us in a spot to win the game. 100% correct. So we're going to take a timeout uh, while Eli warms up, and we will hear another word from one of our sponsors. In Grenada, you might see me at a Grenada High sporting event. We might cross paths at the grocery store or the next benefit. I'm your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, your local expert when it comes to protecting what you love and depend on. I'm Marianne Bale. Call me at 662-226-4931 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote. And to learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money, that's Marianne Bale at 662-226-4931. Hey there, this is Kevin Jackson with Landmark Realty, your hometown friends in real estate. Are you looking to purchase your first home or maybe just your move up home? Or maybe you're looking to even sell a home? Well, we've got you covered. Our dedicated team is here to make your real estate journey smooth and stress-free. From charming starter homes to move up homes or even selling your home, we have it all. 
And here's the kicker. If you scan the barcode now, you'll get our exclusive buyer. Kevin Sorry, Jackson's going to kill me for cutting him short, but got to. So we got clarification, and uh, Coach Flake was talking to the umpires about the they were saying that Remmer pinch ran for Hopper, which is not what happened. He pinch yeah. ran for G, uh, for Preston when he got the single. Yeah. Uh, he was a courtesy run. Well, you know, um, they were saying Daniel was 0 for 2. He was. And and not only that, you know, he did strike out and run down to first, but they got him out on the drive. So he's not even been on base all night long. That's, That's right. not even a possibility. That's right. <laughs> They should have so just come and checked the book. They need to come check up with us, the professionals. 1-1 right. yeah. one, one count. 2-1 count. Ah, uh, got it. There we go. We're back battling. <laughs> I think we're winning that game. Yep. Mitchell's the batter. He's walked three times. How about let's make Mr. Mitchell swing at one. There you go. Good pitch. Yeah, good pitch two, there. 2-2. Two. Eli's been one of more reliable pitchers all year. Absolutely. Especially out of the pen. And bad, tough situations That's too, right. you know. That's low and outside. Got an uh, ERA of 1.53 and a whip of 1.6 and opposing batting average. I'm just going to tell you this one's 200. I'm surprised it's 200, honestly. Yeah. So the count's full. Two outs here in the bottom of the second to tie game, 2-2. Two -two. Mm, yeah. That was not a bad pitch. No, a little bit inside maybe. Yeah, probably so, but not a bad pitch there, so. Number 11, Ty it's going to bring up Agner. Agner's flat out to left. We do have two outs, right? Yeah, flat out to third and reached on an air. So the go ahead run is at first, winning run. There we go, strike one. Yeah, good pitch. Man. So basically, that's not a strike now. I don't. Like, I don't understand that. That's right down the middle. Yep. Catcher's not moving his mitts. How I know that. I mean, he sit up and not moving. A one zero count. There we go. That's grounded to first. Oh, good Ooh, play good there play by, by, by Dylan, Dylan Black. Boy, that was quick feet. That was a tough one there, Chip. I'm not gonna lie to you. wasn't sure if he's gonna have a shot at that play, but he gets over there well, and makes it and gets that out. He was holding the runner on. He came off the base yeah. and go back towards the base. Yeah, great job there by Dylan Black. So, well, we got free baseball yet again, Chip. <laughs> it's always us. It's always us. And tonight's not the night for free baseball, but I'll take it as long as we win the game. Hold on, add a word: free. Cold, baseball. freezing cold. I'm <laughs> baseball. starting to shake. Yeah. So as uh, as they uh, go back in the dugout, get ready for this inning, we're going to take a timeout and hear uh, from Kevin Jackson again. Hey there, this is Kevin Jackson with Landmark Realty, your hometown friends in real estate. Are you looking to purchase your first home, or maybe just your move-up home, or maybe you're looking to even sell a home? Well, we've got you covered. Our dedicated team is here to make your real estate journey smooth and stress-free. From charming starter homes to move-up homes or even selling your home, we have it all. And here's the kicker. If you scan the barcode now, you'll get our exclusive buyer profile system absolutely free. Your dream home is just one click away. Landmark Realty, where dreams become home. <laughs> Charger fans, we're back. Top half of the eighth inning now. And uh, it is a tie, 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 2-2 two, two ball game. I saw Ty Edwards about the time I That's said right. that. 2-2 two, two ball game. Chargers uh, up to bat now. First pitch strike. Palmer, your batter. Callahan sets, delivers. Yeah. Palmer's walked his last at bat, got all the way to second. He's also walked his first at bat, and in the middle of that, he struck out. That's 
bounces one in there. Just need a base runner, just like last inning. However we can get it. That's right. Callahan started out as your shortstop, came into the pitch, relieved. Mr. Randall. Oh, he knocks that. That's got, the ball's got a spin on it. It's spinning the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, wrong way. I was hoping it was going to go back because uh, it uh, Palmer was definitely there. Had fine pitching by the both starting pitchers tonight, Randall for yeah. the Gators and then obviously Jude Westmoreland for us. Yeah, it's Got been into the seventh, needed one more out. It's been a good night for, for the pitching, no doubt about it. Not a lot of runs scored. Uh, of course, this is a big district ball game for both teams. Oh, yeah. Um, and they so will be traveling to us on Saturday. Right, that's right. Hopefully it warms up. I I'm hope sure so. it's supposed to. As a breaking ball is hit hard down the third, takes a nice Sunday hop, makes yeah. a throw across, and he's out. Yeah. Took a nice hop for him. Yeah, he didn't have much trouble with that one at all and uh, makes an easy throw over to first to get Eli Palmer. That's going to bring up Ty Edwards. Yep. Ty grounded second his first at bat, flew out the center, and he was hit by the pitch in the sixth. That's, man. Mr. Yeah. Mr. Cam, the manager. Yeah. His birthday's tomorrow. Is he, I know it. He's excited about no, it. Sweet 16. Oh, he done told me three times, but I'm happy for him. <laughs> he's big time. I don't remember what it was like to be 16. I don't either. It's a long time ago. It was. All it's Go. in on his hands. It's fouled off. Yep. So Callahan's ahead. One, two here in the Top of the eighth. Palmer let off the inning, grounded, grounded out the third. Sets, delivers, tie swings and misses. Yeah. Trying to put that ball in play there, trying to trying to do something with two strikes and wasn't able to do so. It's gonna bring up Hayden Lee. Yep. Hayden grounded out the first in the second inning. He struck out in the fifth and the sixth. He's do a hit. Yeah. Number 14, he's the lone lefty. Starting lineup for the Chargers. Set it's up. Consistency is leaving the building. Yeah, it's pretty much gone at this point. That's low and inside. Fowler's dedicated. He is. He's, he's wearing it out, ain't he? 2-0 count here in the top of the eight. Two outs. Need a base runner. That's going to be a strike. Might have hit one right back up the middle. It'd be a nice. There it is. It right back you up called the middle. it. Look at there. Oh, nice play by the second baseman number yeah. 11. Couldn't get it. He'd have been safe anyway. Yeah, great job by Hayden Lee right there. Base hit right back up the middle just like you called it. Called it as if I was wiping my nose. Yeah, my sleeve. noticed that. I was trying Somebody's not to got look. Kleenexes. Yeah, I got like ten. You need one? <laughs> Along with your. They're all under cool. like. They're all been they're, in your nose. They're under the third one. shirt, and I can't get to them right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll, I'll just just be one more thing. My wife gets to wash. <laughs> oh. Why don't you go ahead and call this one? What do we need here? Oh, uh, I'll take a – who's batting here? Is this Hunter? Hunter Watson. Hunter Watson. Take it the other way, son. Ground ball. First baseman holding. Hayden on. Oh, Look there you here. go. Look at here. That's going to drop you. in there fair. Well, That's going to get Hunter's Hayden held up. Hayden's going to have to hold it third. Throw them brakes on. Yep. Going to have to hold it. Nostradamus there. is in the building. I mean, I'm, I'm ready for the next one. What's next? You got Hopper up. What are we doing here? Yep. I'll give you a little bit of time just to think about it real quick. Well, it's hard to get three right in a row. You won't try. You want me to do another one? Okay. Yeah. I, I, Hold on a second. I think Hopper's going to take it back up the middle. Okay. We got runners on first and third. We we got activity for the Chargers here in the top of the eighth after the first two batters grounded out and then struck out. We got back to back. And there it is. Right Gosh, back up the middle. Oh, yes, sir. Three. Chargers take the lead. I'm on fire. I'm going to Tunica, baby. 
<laughs> Most yeah. importantly, the Chargers take the lead. <laughs> Second importantly is you are three for three on calls right now, yeah. and we're going for number four. <laughs> uh, and I'm not a gambler, but if you get this one right, I'm going with you to Tunica. So the RBI single by Hopper gives us a 3-2 lead. We got runners on first and second. I haven't had time to call this one. I'm going to say he's going to take it the other way, man. We're not trying to pull the ball. Just hit it no. where it is. I mean, you've, you've oh. been good with the alternation so far, yeah. so keep going with it. Yep. Hubbard's up. He's ready. And that bounce is a great job almost. Oh. Had block. We don't advance. Man. Oh, Hunter. no, oh, no, Hunter. oh, no. Get a read on it, son. That's all. That's, He's that's, still fired up about that. Huh? He is. That single he had. Did yeah. he get the RBI? No. No. Oh, Hopper did. Hopper did. All right. So Hubbard's falling behind one, two. Pitcher sets, and that's up two, two. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, big spot for Hubbard. If he can drop one here, I suspect we're going to take. Try to get, try to get Hunter on, on around. Yep. Callahan's your pitcher. He's done a good job in relief. Man. Yep. I thought he had two strikes on I him did already. Two. I don't. Scoreboard's useless. They're showing three and one, so I don't, I don't think that's right at all, is it? No, it's not. What's the count? Hey, Mr. Romero, what's the count? See, I've got him with two strikes. 3-1. Okay, I'm good with that. That's up. Now All we'll right. never know for sure, but we're going we're gonna to go with that, I guess. Now it's ball four. We've got yep. bases We're going to have a pitching change. Yeah, definitely here. Going to have a pitching change with Drew Clink, smooth, Boy, striding to the plate. He's well the last two at bats. He has, and, and one time he really smoked one right at somebody, so it's – kind of do here for sure uh, they're definitely going to go to a pitching change so while they do that we're going to take a break and hear a word for some of our sponsors no. huh you don't want to do that yeah go, yeah take a break okay there are times in life when we find ourselves in need when we call upon the help of our closest friends and family as your local Farm Bureau insurance agent, I want to be on that list. I'm from right here in Grenada, Mississippi, and I'm here to help you and your family. I'm Robert Carolla. Call me at 662-226-4931 for a quick auto, home, or life insurance quote and to learn more about how Farm Bureau insurance can save you time and money. Go Chargers! folks i'm robbie and i'm paul and we're here at wine on a tractor and equipment well guys with spring approaching we have golf coming up and ball tournaments coming up these guys can enjoy every bit of that yeah. every bit of it knowing that their wife is home comfortably mowing on a kubota zero turn right here baby if you really love her uh, and you want to make it easy on her after yeah. she's been mowing all day comfortably yeah. on a kubota zero turn yeah. Get on any of our Kubota RTVs and haul the weed eater and gas down there to her so she ain't got to walk to get it. Paul, that is an excellent idea. Why didn't I think of that? Kubota offers 0% financing on all models. We can get that payment just right. All right, we got Drew Clint coming to the plate. So your third baseman, Moberly, is now your pitcher. He pitched in seven innings. He's not giving up any any runs but Drew Clink swings at the first pitch and he flies it out to yeah, right. Skies it out there and the right under. fielder is able to make that play so well we leave them loaded but most importantly what we do is we score the go-ahead run. It is now three to two Chargers going into bottom half of the eighth inning so we have a shot here to close the door with Eli Housel coming back to the mound and uh, 
Have a shot to get warm. Winning this ball game. Yeah, and a shot to get warm. We usually leave it here at this point, but I think with this long of a wait on the warm-ups, we'll just go ahead and flip it back and hear from Paul Black. What do you say? There you go. Well, hello, folks. I'm Robbie. And I'm Paul. And we're here at Wine on a Tractor and Equipment. Well, guys, with spring approaching, we have golf coming up and ball tournaments coming up. These guys can enjoy every bit of that. Yeah. Every bit of it, knowing that their wife is home comfortably mowing on a Kubota Zero turn. Right here, baby. If you really love her uh, and you want to make it easy on her, after yeah. she's been mowing all day comfortably yeah. on a Kubota Zero turn, yeah. get on any of our Kubota RTVs and haul the weed eater and gas down there to her so she ain't got to walk to get it. Paul, that is an excellent idea. Why didn't I think of that? Kubota offers 0% financing on all models. We can get that payment just right for you where you'll have enough money left over at the end of the week to take her out for all her hard work. Well, folks, when you think about a tractor for your wife, remember, think why not a tractor and equipment. All right, Chip, we're back. I believe Eli Housel is about to finish up his warm-ups. Preston Downs about to throw down, and we are in the bottom half of the eighth inning where the Chargers are leading. Shot to win this ball game. Yeah, it looks like number 10. Number one. Yeah, number 10. Yeah, got, got 10 on his back. They called out number one, but. Dylan Gunnels, and it looks like he came in for Callahan. Okay. Yeah, he. I would have figured Callahan would have stayed in the game somewhere. Yeah. He's a short, shortstop. Yeah, I. But he did take him when he came off the mound. He came out, so I don't know. I'm with you because he's actually looked pretty good at the plate. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he has. <laughs> you know, probably could play anywhere on the field. Yeah, I mean he's very versatile and he's had a good game. So Gunnels is your batter. House is your pitcher. Bottom of the eighth, squaring around just to get a look. Yeah, that's he, not gonna phase Eli. He's uh, they're just trying to do this to get balls. That's all there is to it. Eli Saw just that needs against Water Valley earlier yeah, in the year. That's right. There's another one. That's two. Yeah, two strikes right off the bat. Got to keep that rolling. This is where you get a heater and kind of get near that umpire, warm him up a little bit, pull it away. <laughs> Widen that strike zone. Ooh, there you go, Three straight Eli. pitches for Eli Housel getting that strikeout. That was a big strikeout right there. Yes, sir. Yep. It's going to bring up Randall. Randall. Yeah. Aaron Randall, who's your starting pitcher. He's all of 6'9". Yeah, this kid is huge. Big old boy. Eli's ready. Swing and miss. He struck out three times on the night. He's got a big strike zone, don't he? Yeah. That's the disadvantage of being 6'9". Yeah. Strike one. Bottom of the eighth, Chargers took a one. Ooh. Oh, boy. That one got away from him there. Had up his eyes, and that's a high pitch. 1-1 one, one count. Oh, no. Bottom of the eighth, 1-1 one, one count. The Chargers have the lead 3-2 to two over the home team, late Comrade Gators. Still chilly. Getting colder. Eli sets and delivers a little bit low and inside. Yeah. 2 1. Yeah, Preston not happy with himself right there. I, think, I don't know that that would have been a strike, but nah, he. That was low. That's what I thought too, but he looked a little irritated with himself for not pulling that back into the strike zone. But I don't think he would have gotten it anyway. Eli sets. There it's swinging a miss. miss. All right, Eli. Third ball. Yeah, probably so. Eli sets. Ah, he overthrows. Yeah, he bounces in there. With a fastball, it's almost too hard to get a fastball. This guy is like two feet taller than Preston. Yeah. 
it's almost hard to get a fastball in this guy's eyes. It'd yeah. be throwing over Preston's head. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Sets delivers. And that ball That's skied up. up. That's going to be a tough gonna get one. under. Hunter's coming in. Gets under. Yeah, good play there. <laughs> Hunter, big swole. You may be a little bit nervous. Yeah. But you caught it. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, well, you great. got all the wind, too, now. It gets up in that wind. I, I immediately thought that is going to be a really hard play, and, and Hunter just got under it, tracked it down, stayed with it, and made the play. It's a great job by Hunter Watson. i who didn't get near it was Eli Housel. He knows better. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, sir. That ain't mine. I ain't taking it. So, late comrades down to the last out. Chargers have a 3-2 lead after scoring in the top of the eighth. Strung together some hits. Big hit by Daniel Hopper. This is Moberly. Yeah. So you got a freshman that knocked in the go-ahead run and a freshman on the mound closing it out. Pretty Strung impressive. Three hits in a row to yeah. take this lead, all with two outs, I believe. Good oh, pitch. There it is. Good pitch. Man, he finally whipped it out, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's tough there. That's a pretty good pitch. 1-1. One, one. There we go. And that ball is hitting the gap. Yeah, he smoked that ball. Yeah. Yep. Moberly's going to yeah. keep him alive. Yeah, he smoked that ball and just a base hit there. Nobody really hurt right there. And, of course, striding to the plate is Mr. Romero, who did get a RBI earlier, a big RBI, RBI. Single in the fourth. You know, earlier in the game. So, uh, big hitter right here. we got to be careful. Yeah, he looped one over Drew Clink when he was at short. They have been running. Mr. Randall. Sorry, Mr. Moberly, though. Yeah. Does not look like. Got a lot of a lot of speed, maybe. Yeah, I don't want to be tricked. Yeah, I mean, you would think they'd be pinched running here if that were the case. Yep. Low and outside. Does he not have a stolen base already? No. Okay. Got a single? Okay. No, that's, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's uh, he just got a single. 21, Romero's the batter. Eli throws one by him. Yeah, good pitch there by Eli Housel. Just rear back and threw it hard. Threw it right by him. Eli's the freshman left-hander. Been coming in situations like this all year. Set, there we go. And that's going to be grounded short. Let's just make the easy play to second. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's going to end it. it. That'll the do Chargers it. Chargers going to get a victory. Yeah, big uh, big win there for the Chargers. Boy, I tell you what, that's a that's a big-time ball game. That is. You know, there, it was – we had one hit through six. Yeah. You know, and yeah. we just hung in there. Yeah, big-time ball game there for uh, for the Grenada Chargers. Uh, great job. Uh, by two freshmen, you know, by everybody, but you had a freshman to knock, like I said, to, to knock in the uh, the go-ahead run and then a freshman to close it out. Uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, you just got to fight. You got to stay in the game, keep fighting. You know, they didn't look yeah. like anybody got their heads down. Yeah. Um, you know, late comment kind of hurt themselves on some throws, but, hey, they, you yeah. know, if they're going to. They're going to make mistakes. you got to capitalize on them, That's and we right. did. And we had an opportunity. Yeah, and look, yeah. they're a good team. That, they yeah, have been, uh, the 12 pitching. and 1 on the year. Yeah, that, that's a that's a big game. And, you know, what a what a great job there by the Chargers to get that win here. And then they got to come to us on Saturday. You kind of like our odds at home. Although, you know, we, we've thought about that before with Saltillo. That didn't work out as well as we thought it would. But yeah. maybe we, we can change that up here. But, uh, again, great win for the Chargers. Uh, proud of the boys for the for the for the way they fought tonight and and a, a good win and you know can't say enough about Jude. Yeah. Both pitchers really, but of course Jude's ours and so we're so yeah. proud of him and what he did tonight. I mean, he just continues to pitch and put us in positions to win. Yeah. And uh, and and just like Saltillo, he did that tonight. He doesn't pick up the win here tonight, but he pitched extremely he's, well. He's the game. And and it's no doubt about it. Absolutely, I'm with you 100. percent So, and like I'd like to sit out here and talk with you for an hour. I'm ready to go. We got to break this equipment I, down. We got to get home. I'm I'm with you 100. percent So, I appreciate but you. Late conference coming to us on Saturday. Yeah. You know, make sure you come out. Yeah. Support your charge. It's going to be a big district game. Yeah. You know, to put us what what would our record be? You're the math guy. Uh, three and one. Yeah, three in the one. district. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, yeah. And, one three and one now. So, yeah, absolutely. So. With that being said, we're freezing to death. Going to break down the equipment and head home and uh, go Chargers. Go Chargers.